my YouTubers. Just a video really to explain how to check your SWR. And uh, here's the kit that I'm going to be sort of doing a little demonstration with. It. That's the Ranger 6900 F25. And uh, this is my patch lead. It's a little bit longer than what you may pick up from a shop. That's because I made that one myself. So let's just have a look at the lineup. Radio, patch lead. Patch lead goes into the back of your SWR meter into where it says TX. Okay, it might might say uh, TSVR or something which is short for transceiver. But it definitely doesn't go in the other one which will say ant short for antenna so you've got your radio patch lead into the antenna socket on the back of your meter this is a dummy load that's where the area would normally go okay so what you need to do find a clear frequency i'm not sure how well you're going to see this but you put your swr meter into the cal mode or position it might say set or something similar so right we're in this uh, calibrate position key the mic and adjust the, the uh, needle on the, uh, your meter till it goes to where it'll either say set or cat or CAL short for calibrate okay D key and then you put your meter into SWR mode. On my on my one, it's not particularly clear, but trust me, I'm in SWR at the moment. And you key up, and that reads off your SWR. Okay, dead easy. That's on one type of uh, meter. That one is basically a. Uh, like an amateur radio style uh, meter. And I'll just pause for a minute and I'll put my other meter in line to show you that. Right, okay, we're back in business. This is more of a CB style uh, SWR meter or as CBs call them, swirl meters. Okay, this one has just got like here yeah, one dial in the middle. Same thing, patch lead goes into, on this one it says XMTR, and then the other end it says ANT, short for antenna, it's easy to work out. So, key the mic, uh, turn the dial till the meter goes on to set, you can't see it very clearly, but trust me, it says set, okay? And then the other side reads off your SWR, which is absolutely perfect, because I'm transmitting into a dummy load. Okay. Now, on the meter, on the SWR side, I'll have to sort of use my finger to point this out, because I don't think the camera's picking it up. You've got a row of sort of... Uh, uh, best way to describe it really yeah, you can sort of see that just there it says 1.5 there it says 2 and just to the right of that there's another mark and then it's in the red in the SWR position you really want in your needle to the 1.5 or less and uh, if it's to what we call the big two which is just to the right of the 1.5 just there if it's any higher than that you really want to stop transmitting because <coughs> you can cause damage to your uh, output I'll just have to pause again for a moment hold on Right, OK, we're recording again. I'll just show you a little bit about this radio while I'm 
sort of waffling. Uh, like, like I said, it's a Ranger 6900 F25. It's got that radio has got a built-in SWR meter. Now let's presume you've checked your SWR and your SWR is high. What do you do to correct it? Well, what I do, let's just presume that you're using a 40 channel radio, just to keep it simple. And let's just presume that the SWR is high on channel 40. Okay, but it's quite low on channel 1. The, the higher channel will always need a shorter antenna. Basically, the higher up in frequency you go, the shorter the antenna has to be uh, to get it near where you need it to be. <coughs> and as you go down in frequency, in other words, down in channels, your antenna has to get longer. So if you've got a high SWR on your higher frequency, you need to shorten your antenna. And if it's high on the lower frequency, you have to lengthen it. Now the aim of the game is, <coughs> is to adjust your antenna. So the SWR is about the same on channel 1 and channel 40. And then anywhere in between will be about the same. That's it, it's pretty simple really. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a dry throat here. I'm just pointing the uh, the camera at the kit rather than at me, because you've seen enough on me on my other videos. Uh, things that can complicate matters are 40 patch leads, which is these. What you might find is you'll key the mic to read off your SWR and the meter won't do anything or the needle will be up down up down and you'll wiggle the, the thing like this and then you'll get a reading <coughs> but that if that's the case nothing to do with your antenna if you patch lead and the same if it's uh let's just say you've got this lead coming out of this side going to your antenna and when you key up your needle on your meter sort of flicking to and fro, you know, as you wiggle it. In that case, you'll have to desolder the plug and uh, re refit it, basically. I'm not going to explain how to do that at the moment. Uh, maybe that's uh, another video. So, that's something uh, worth considering. And you can also have 40 meters, and what normally tends to be 40 is the switches. I don't think any of these have got a switch like it. I mean, this one's got a dial. That's giving me very little uh, trouble, and I've had that meter probably 20 years. But some of the others were like the switch up and down type. Or especially the ones that uh, slide like this, you know, uh, it'd be S uh, forward. SWR, that type of one that goes like that, they're renowned for playing up, especially if the meat is old. It's worth taking the, the top off, which is normally held on by a couple of screws. Spray a bit of switch cleaner on the back of the switch, and that will sort that. Uh, now let's presume that you're trying to tune in a mobile antenna, alright? And you can't do nothing with your SWR, no matter what you do. What you can do is try the antenna in a different place. Now, if you're putting it on a truck, and you've got, say, a mag mount on the roof, what will happen if the mag mount is too close to uh, the box, if you're in a rigid, it will interact the area will, will interact with the box, so try and get the mag mount further away from the box, so it's sort of standing uh, further from any metal obstructions, if you like. Because what that does, it gives the antenna, or the, or the rig, the feeling that the arrow is way too long. And you may find yourself chopping bits off to try and get it right. 
but then if you want to put that mag mount on another truck you chop too much off you won't be able to tune it in <coughs> so the, more, the name of the game really is keep your, your antenna in free space as best you can whether it be on a mirror mount or on top of the cab uh, it's, it's, it's pretty sort of simple and straightforward but it's only really when doing the, the standard test putting your meter in line you know make sure your plugs are all in the right sockets keying up and then adjusting your antenna and then not getting anywhere like I say it could be 40 patch leads uh, 40 uh, plug not necessarily the plug but the coax inside it because sometimes the the coax is loose and they get twisted and the, the copper wire inside breaks but uh, that's sort of a little bit more in depth this video really is just to, to explain the, the, the very basics just to get you going sort of thing but if you do have any problems and, uh, and you've watched this video and you're still not sure uh, just leave a comment and every time someone leaves a comment I'll get a message through to my mobile phone if I'm near the PC I'll sort of come back and try and help you but uh, that's about it for now just a short and sweet very basic you know how to check your SWR that's my old power supply you can hear it's got a fan running but what I will say like I said before if you've got a very high SWR stop transmitting you know and keep each key up quite short you know if you if, if your SWR is in the red don't be keying it up you know, wrapping the mic with a bit of sellotape and then running off adjusting your aerial coming back keep the uh, trans you know transmissions I don't know something like this that's plenty long enough to check what you need to check because you can blow the output on your radio if you sort of overdo it well that's about it I think you know good luck hope everything goes well for you and uh, if not leave a comment I'll see you soon thanks for watching cheers bye